I made a bot for Phasmophobia to help me grind Prestige 20. This code is duct taped together. It is not good code. It is pretty bad. Pretty horrible, actually. <laughs> but you know what? It works. Pretty, pretty inelegant code. Inelegant? Inelegant? Oh my god, we got spirit! Yes! <laughs> yes! We just made three thousand dollars doing nothing. <laughs> oh no! We don't have a way for it to. Oh, it's still trying to do stuff. Oh my god, it, it's still trying to do stuff. It can't. Okay, we have new problems to deal with. It does everything from selecting the map, readying up, to starting the game. Once in the truck, it backs up, looks right, opens the truck, waits for the truck to fully open, then closes the truck back up, thus repeating the cycle. Here's how it works. So I went through a bunch of different iterations for what I want to do with this bot. Um, I noticed that certain libraries didn't like to play nicely with Unity games. And so I found out that Pi Input does seem to work okay for simple clicking. But I did have some issues later on, and I'll run into those in a second here once we get to that, where it wasn't working properly, and I had to use something called Pi Direct Input, which is basically Pi Input, but using newer API, apparently. So it actually works with more modern games. For now, though, I went ahead and used Pi Input for my mouse setup. So the initial part is actually pretty straight, straightforward and easy, and kind of just repeats itself a bunch of times. I had to figure out where the mouse needed to go on the map, on the select screen, um, back to the main menu, ready up, start, skip, that kind of stuff. And so I just figured out where all the mouse clicks were needed for that. What you do here, and I just did a while loop, so it just runs forever. So what it does is it figured out the mouse, or it, you figured out the mouse position, so you set the mouse position, and then I set up, oh, figured it out, and then I went ahead and clicked, and then I just wait, and then I release. So if you click and release too quickly, it will not take the input. So I just let it sit there for a second and take the input for half a second. And that seemed to work pretty well. And then I went ahead and moved on to the next mouse position here. And what that does is just moves to the back to the main menu. And it just basically goes through the entire menu to get it set up. So you have to go select a map, select ready up, select start. So that's all this really is. And just kind of repeats itself several times over. Once we got into the actual game though, that's where things got a little more tricky and I actually used a different library. And again, this is pretty pretty wonky, I'm sure, but it does seem to work. So I used V Gamepad as VG and that seemed to work pretty well. It basically spoofs a controller. And so that's the way I was able to get to play video games instead of using the keyboard and mouse, which I wanted to continue using. Uh, controller seemed to work pretty well actually. So. I don't think I actually end up using Pi Direct Input. Let me just verify that. Oh, no, I did. Yeah. Okay. So Pi Direct Input, like I said, is basically just Pi Input um, here, but it's updated to work with more new API apparently, which is uh, pretty cool. So back in here, we went ahead and just ran this function. We initialized the gamepad as a 360 gamepad controller. We had it sleep for a second, just to initialize. I've noticed that sometimes you just let things sleep. It seems to like that and seems to work a lot better. So, and then what you do, and it's really simple. So if you want to control the left joystick, right? <laughs> Correct. You just set the values here. So in this case, this is a Y value. So the up and down axis, that instead of left and right would be X and Y, or X, sorry, would be left and right, where Y would be up and down on the joystick. And so this would be backwards. So we went, we just held the joystick down 100%, you know, back for, and we updated that. You have to just, you have to just set that and then update it. And then it just, it does that forever until you tell it otherwise. And then I had it sleep for five seconds. And then we just go ahead and just zero it out. So we go back to zero. There you go. And then we have to sleep for one second. And then we use the um, joystick right this time and we turn our camera to the right for 0.6 seconds. Again, these are just values that I figured out just by trial and error, nothing too crazy here. So it looks to the right, then looks down slightly. And then finally it clicks the keypad and then waits eight seconds because it needs to wait this long to click it again. Otherwise it won't take the input. And then you click it again. And then back in here, which is right here, it sleeps for 20 seconds because I don't know why, but it takes about 20 seconds to really fully get back to the main menu. So we wait for a while. And then I just broke up the outro just to make it easier myself. 
here, it's using the exact same pi input thing that we did up here. In fact, I probably could just copy and paste that in here and, and be no no issue there at all. But I just made this this way just because I was having issues with the outro. So I was trying to get to the outro and make that just run by itself. And so you see that we just, again, initialize the mouse, which didn't seem to have any issues with initializing twice, which I was a little concerned about. Just says, give me a print screen. Hey, starting the outro, mouse position, like we've seen before, sleep, click, skip, you know, press it left. And then uh, we need to add a click accept here because sometimes you get items after you've leveled up so far and so you have to click accept otherwise it won't click it and then it'll just keep running and it'll actually break the bot so i haven't added that yet but other than that the bot does run it goes through and it's like time to repeat so it clicks click clicks and then back over to here we have it say yep done and then it sleeps for three seconds i'm not sure why i did that but that's fine and then it just repeats the whole entire cycle and it, it does work so pretty cool i i don't imagine you really could use this tool to level up quickly i i think be kind of a silly way to level up but i mean i guess you could do it this way uh, i don't anticipate i'll do that much i just did it as a proof of concept really but a lot of fun to use um but yeah here's all the code that i use it's pretty simple you might have to do it a little differently in yours depending on what your layout is you know where your mouse needs to go and whatnot you know your screen size and everything this is probably not a one size fits all kind of thing but i mean pretty neat proof of concept in my opinion so yeah thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video